uh, the athletics. But another story that has been making the headlines here is that of the Chinese gold medalist Gong Li Jiao. She won the women's shot put final, but there has been a backlash following her interview on Chinese state television. She was asked about her masculine appearance and her marriage plans. Uh, many people going online to criticise the interview, calling it sexist and narrow-minded, and it started an online debate with the hashtag, is marriage the only thing that can be talked about with women? Well, let's talk now to our China specialist, Kerry Allen, who joins us. Kerry, firstly, tell us more about this interview. So this interview took place on Sunday, and people are still talking about it even now. There have been tens of thousands of social media comments appearing on Sina Weibo, which is what Chinese people use instead of Facebook or Twitter, and the ones that have received the most likes. Um, yeah, I mean, this, this video, it shows this interviewer asking, do you have any plans for a woman's life? And people are really, really angry about this. You can see the comments that, yeah, have the most likes are people saying, is there something wrong with this reporter's brain? Because they are that surprised that you've just won a gold medal and this is what you're being asked. People are really angry about it. Is she being celebrated as well, though, Kerry, for her phenomenal success? Absolutely, yes. I mean, literally every time the Olympics are hosted, and China always does well in the Olympics, um, the, the big stars are really made into big figures. And, and people are just seeing this interview as a bit tone deaf. It's not focusing on on the fact that women can be different. And, and this is one of the things that you are seeing appear in quite a lot of comments. People are saying that um, there is a lot of uh, interpretation in state media, suggestion that women need to fit into a certain mold. And uh, a marriage particularly has been a big focus of China in the last year. It actually came up at the two sessions earlier in the year, which is the big government uh, meetings where there's talk about what we need to focus on in the year ahead. Um, and yeah, there was this stress that because China's birth rate is slowing down, that uh, women need to, uh, well, there need to be better initiatives to try and support women to have more children. But at the same time, you've been seeing this backlash very much since the beginning of the year with people saying, particularly women, that women are being forced back into traditional roles. And, and this woman should be celebrated for being an Olympian, not for being potentially another mother. And Kerry, what about the uh, success of China here, leading the medals table again? You know, they have done phenomenally well, as they always do. Is it the top story in the news back in China? Definitely, it is one of them, yeah. I mean, China has had experiences in recent weeks. It's had a new outbreak of COVID-19, so that's been a focus, and there were devastating floods a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, China's really pleased as it is every time it's, you know, in the Olympics. It's always one of the big stars. And it's particularly enthusiastic about the fact that next year, uh, Beijing is going to be hosting the Winter Olympics. So you're seeing a lot of anticipation for that as much as you are about China's successes this year at the Olympics in Tokyo. Any comparisons being made in China between uh, the Winter Olympics that will be held and what we've seen here in Tokyo because of that rivalry between Japan and China, Kerry? Yeah, I mean, one of the things that was very apparent to me before the Olympics went ahead is that China was concerned that cases were growing in Japan. And you saw a lot of media very much emphasizing that China's taking the right COVID-19 measures to ensure that the Olympics will be safe next year. Um, but yeah, obviously, as the Olympics did go ahead, it did change its tact with this. And instead, there was a large focus on Olympians uh, basically staying safe and, and using their own measures. And also a lot of these, I mean, most of China's team are vaccinated as well. So a big emphasis that the team are, are staying safe throughout all this. Kerry, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us to talk about one of uh, the talking points here in Tokyo and around the world when it comes to these Olympics.